These are barbecue chicken bombs. And they are the best thing you ever had that came off a barbecue. They're juicy, they're tender, and super, super tasty. Let's get started. Big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. You may have never heard of the barbecue chicken bomb before, but that's all going to change today. Because I'm going to show you how to make them so you can have the most tasty and juicy barbecue chicken you ever had. First thing that I got to do is cut these three beautiful chickens. Now what I want to do is I want to remove the bones out of this chicken and with a knife carefully remove the meat from the bones. Working my way from the back to the front makes this job a little bit easier and once I've removed the midsection I'm left with this carcass of which of course I'm going to cut off the legs and the wings and I'm going to save them for a different dish. The carcass I'm saving for chicken stock and now what I have left is chicken fillets connected. Of course you can have your poultry guy do that for you it will save you a lot of time and effort I just like to do it. But the next part which is really important, is adding flavor. And that's why I have all these fresh ingredients. I'm gonna start with the thyme. It's a lot of work, but I gotta get all these leaves off the stalks. Once you have about a handful of thyme, you have enough. And you're gonna put it in the blender and you're going to add the same amount of sage, the same amount of oregano, the same amount of parsley, and the same amount of chives. Now you think a bit, Master, hey, that is not parsley, that is coriander. Well, I've got here flat leaf parsley and I've got coriander. And how do you tell the difference? Honestly, I find this very difficult to tell the difference. If I see them and they're not side by side, it's hard to tell. But it's the parsley that has a more, well, relaxed structure. And it has fewer little wrinkles on the side. But as you can see here, it's actually quite difficult to tell the difference. Honestly, the best way to do it is just take a bite of the leaf and you'll instantly know the difference because that coriander parsley, um, that's a pretty different flavor. Let's get the coriander away from here. Otherwise it just might mix it up. I'm gonna take a handful of parsley and just stick it in. Yo. You're also gonna add half a cup of olive oil and half a tablespoon of salt. And then you're gonna blitz it up until you have a smooth consistency. Well, I must admit that does look good already. And we haven't done anything with it yet. So I'm gonna take some of these butcher swines and I'm going to cut them to size. And I'll show you what these are for. Let's tie up some chicks. It's a joke, it's a joke, relax. There we go. What a beauty. Now, if you did all this work yourself, you're gonna be proud. You got your butcher's twine ready, you got your chicken filet ready, and it's starting to look good. Now, let's flavorize this chicken with a good gallop of that seasoning. Don't be shy. And then it's time for a little bit of magic. I got some mozzarella balls, because we gotta have a bomb, and a bomb means something's gotta come out. We gotta have a cheese explosion. Now, I really want this to melt down. Now, I'm gonna tie this up and make it all come together. On the outside, I will be putting the Pit Master Rick's Chicken Barbecue Rub. Now, you can put this on anything. And for the Dutch people, you can even make curry mayonnaise in mee. Dus erg lekker. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that on. Just a nice coat for a little bit of flavor. Let's get some on the side. And then I'm going to flip it upside down. Cut the ends of the twines off. A little bit more seasoning. whoop de doo And then, of course, we're going to cover it with bacon. Just like that. And because we have the opening pointing upwards, we're not losing any of that cheese once we put it on the barbecue. I'm gonna drape the bacon over it so it just lays there. Last piece of bacon. Let's wrap this around. This is our chicken bacon barbecue bomb ready to go on the barbecue. And of course, I will be grilling on that beauty behind me. Because this thing is a beast and it's gonna give me the temperatures that I need for this cook. I wanna be roasting that chicken, which means we're gonna go for 180 degrees Celsius in the barbecue. And that means I'm gonna fire up all burners, but I'm gonna set them to a medium setting. All the heat is coming from down below and it's gonna accumulate on this high rack here. So that's exactly where I'm putting my chicken. Get my bacon bowls nice and golden brown while keeping them nice and juicy at the same time. Now, of course, I can close the lid like this and cook them, but we're gonna add a neat trick because I'm gonna take a piece of firewood out of my fireplace and blow out the flames. And that way I have a chunk of smoke wood that I'm gonna place underneath the chicken barbecue bombs and that will create the perfect amount of smoke to smoke my chicken barbecue bombs with. I just got the notification from our wireless thermometers. We're almost there, five minutes more. And that means I'm gonna turn off the gas grill because the residual heat in the grill 
will be more than enough to get these chicken barbecue bums up to temperature. And in the meantime, we're gonna whip up a quick batch of barbecue sauce. And it's gonna be super, super easy. I'm gonna start with half a tablespoon of that green sauce that we made. Then I'm gonna add half a cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of honey whiskey. And of course you can't have barbecue sauce without the washer sister sauce. Two tablespoons of the chicken barbecue rub, a tablespoon of cane sugar, whisk it up, Turn on the gas, and while stirring, bring it to a boil. Oh, look at how good that looks. You can just see the mozzarella oozing out. Oh, barbecue chicken bacon bomb, guys. Come on. Now look at this beauty. And while we're doing this anyway, we might as well Take it all the way over the top with a little bit of Japanese mayonnaise and a sprinkle of fried onions on top. Just a little, just a little, little. And there you have it. This is my version of barbecue chicken bomb. Ain't that epic? Look at it. That is one juicy piece of chicken. <laughs> Look at that, we got the cheese. We got the beautiful meat. Of course, we got the strings. That is one freaking amazing piece of chicken. Now, luckily I found someone to do the taste test with me. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> There's a big piece. This is freaking amazing. The flavor is insane. I mean, the green veg, the green, the groene ingrediënten, the green herbs just really, really make this dish. But then the barbecue sauce and the mayonnaise, they kind of like top it off. Wow. I think it's great. But um, you tell me, give us a verdict. I like it. The cheese that you said, if you take a bite, you don't feel the cheese. That's the only thing. You wanted more of a cheese bomb. You More don't? cheese. It could have been better. It can always be better. Yeah, I think next time I'm just going to go for a little bit more American cheese in the inside. I'm not going to tell you to make this. I'll let you be your own judge. And uh, don't forget to rate this recipe. 1 to 10 for epic. Mm. Mm.